Stuart? Yeah. Today, we are looking at the very famous Zen temple. Mm. Have you ever visited Eiheiji? No, I haven't, but it's very well known internationally because its training is seen as a typical example of Zen meditation. Yes, indeed. And of course, we'll talk about that later. Yes. Deep in the mountains of Fukui Prefecture stands Eiheiji, a Zen temple with a history of over 750 years. It's the main training temple of the Soto sect of Zen Buddhism. Around 200 young trainee priests undergo rigorous spiritual exercises day and night. At 4 a.m., a bell is rung to wake everybody up. The trainees begin each At Aiheiji, Zazen is practiced facing the wall. It's believed that this method allows the trainees to look deeper into themselves. The aim is to attain enlightenment and be free of desire and attachment. At 7 a.m., after about three hours of practicing Zazen and reciting sutras, they have breakfast. The meal consists only of brown rice porridge, pickles and salted sesame seeds. They have to eat without making any noise. When they have finished eating, they rinse their bowls with a small amount of hot water making sure not to waste one drop of it. After breakfast, the trainee priests clean the temple both inside and outside. At Eiheiji, everything is regarded as part of the training. Everyday chores like cleaning are especially important and are referred to as moving zazen. Eiheiji was founded by the 13th century monk Dogen. He chose this mountainous spot because it was quiet and free of distractions, making it an ideal setting for the practice of Zen. At Eiheiji, certain priests rarely practice Zazen or recite sutras. They work in the kitchen. There are nine of them, and they cook for all the priests of the temple, meaning over 200. So they're in the kitchen almost all day long. One of the highest ranking priests is in charge of the kitchen. Zen is not just about practicing Zazen. It's also about doing ordinary things earnestly. That's the spirit of Zen that Dogen instilled in his followers. The teachings of Zen have greatly influenced the way the Japanese live and think. And Eiheiji gives us a sense of how it all started. Stuart, yes. any comments on the video? Well, I was interested to see a glimpse of the trainee priests heading off into the streets holding their bowls. Ah, that activity is called takuhatsu. Uh -huh. Those bowls are very important possessions, mm. not only for eating from, uh, but for collecting food from uh, local people mm -hmm. and sometimes donations. Uh -huh. The priests are not begging, mm. uh, but meeting and communicating with the people is an important part of Zen. I see. You know, the training regime at Eiheiji looks pretty tough. Yes, it is in some ways, uh, but it's never taken to extremes. Oh. They practice 40 minutes of meditation three times a day, uh, once in the morning and twice in the evening. Uh -huh. And after each session, they can stand up and move their legs and feet slowly mm. to relieve the pain and numbness. Uh, it's very reasonable. Hmm. Uh, as for the meals, they look rather austere. Uh -huh. Do they provide sufficient nutrition? Well, I'm sure they do. Uh, shojin ryori looks very simple, mm. but it is in fact very nutritious. Uh. And besides, seikans bukkayu are apparently possible. Oh, well, that's good. Mm -hmm. um, the video clip mentioned the interesting idea of moving zazen. Mm. Is the cleaning done by Japanese school children derived from that Zen idea? Ah, yes. Um, it's based on the Zen idea that by cleaning your surroundings, 
you can also get rid of your uh, worldly desires. Mm. The custom of school cleaning started in the Edo period at Terakoya private schools as part of their education, mm. and it's been continued to this day. Hmm, I see. In Britain and other Western countries, cleaning is generally done by cleaners uh -huh. rather than the children. Um, by the way, um, what do the trainees do after completing their training at AHG? Well, I hear that uh, about half continue their training at other temples mm. and the others become the head priest at their own temple. Uh -huh. uh, can ordinary people also experience Zen at AHG? Yes. Uh, it offers two types of program. Mm. Uh, one is a short overnight stay program in which uh, visitors mm, eat Zen food, meditate, uh, read the sutras and so on. Mm. The other is a stricter four-day program including training in proper manners and you are not allowed to stop meditating even if you feel pain in your legs. Oh, that is pretty strict. Yes. Mm. Can foreigners participate? Oh yes, uh, for those who can't speak Japanese, English-speaking priests provide instructions. Mm. Actually, many temples across Japan now offer a, a Zen experience, uh, which is an excellent way for foreigners to get to know more about Zen. Yes, indeed. Um, in Western countries, I think many people used to mix up Zen and yoga, mm -hmm. and to think Zen practitioners use some kind of supernatural powers. But thanks to the hippies in the 60s, mm -hmm. Zen became properly understood as a form of mental training with meditation. Right. Mm. And now Zen is very popular all around the world. Yes, indeed. So, uh, it's interesting.